Too many accomplishments are lost to time, so it is a pleasure to learn about and enjoy the history that has been preserved. I have always loved music and was determined to listen to as much of Belong's work as possible, but I found it difficult to find one place to listen to all of his music, so I created a space for that purpose. The story of Joseph Belong is intriguing and I think it is important for his music to be heard. My channel is dedicated to, as American President John Adams said, the most accomplished man in Europe. I'm excited to collaborate with Insightful Black History and present to you the story of Joseph Boulogne, Le Chevalier de Saint-Georges. Joseph Boulogne was born December 25, 1745, on the island of Guadeloupe. He was born to his father, George Boulogne, a wealthy sugar and coffee planter, and his mother, Nanan, who was his father's Senegalese slave who was known to be the most beautiful woman in Guadeloupe. At a young age, Joseph and his family relocated to Paris, France, where his father enrolled him in La Boissière's Royal Polytechnic Academy for Fencing and Horsemanship. Joseph quickly proved to be a phenomenal fencer, marksman, boxer, swimmer and dancer. By the age of 17, Joseph was known as one of the best swordsmen and was competing against fencing masters like Alexander Picard, who publicly mocked Boulogne, referring to him as the Mulatto of Borisier. He defeated Picard in a duel, which many Parisians had betted. Joseph's father purchased him a horse and carriage to celebrate the occasion. Little is known about Joseph's musical training but it is speculated that he learned his technique from composers Antonio Lolli and Jean-Marie Leclerc, the elder, and learned composition from François-Joseph Gossec. It was in Gossec's Concert des Amateurs, the best orchestra in France at the time, that Joseph was first presented to Parisians as a violinist. At his debut, he presented two violin concertos which he composed and performed as the soloist. His performance was met with much acclaim and further solidified his prominence in Parisian society. After graduating from the Royal Academy, he was made an officer King Louis XV court in 1776 and was then known as the Chevalier. In 1773, Boulogne was made the director of the Concert des Amateurs. During this time, he was also the private music teacher to Queen Marie Antoinette. Because of this and his exceptional reputation, he was considered to fill the open position of director of the Royal Academy of Music at the Opera, which was France's most prestigious opera. The opportunity was denied to him when the opera leading ladies refused to work for a mulatto. In 1781, the Concert des Amateurs dissolved and Boulogne conducted the Concert de la Logue Olympique, which was sponsored by the Freemasons, of which Boulogne was a member of. Boulogne spent the next years composing and even commissioned the Paris symphonies for the most accomplished and famous composer at that time, Joseph Hayden. Boulogne conducted the premiere of those symphonies in 1787. At the outbreak of the French Revolution, Joseph joined the National Guard and was requested to lead a troop of 1,000 men of colour, which came to be known as the Legion Saint George. Having made enemies, maybe because of his race or for his background as an aristocrat, he was accused of misappropriating military funds. He was jailed in 1793 without a trial and was released almost a year later. The rest of his life was spent composing and even directing a new orchestra, La Circle de l'Harmonie, 
Boulogne died in 1799 from a bladder infection. Having composed symphonies, concertos, string quartets and many vocal works, Boulogne indeed was one of the most accomplished men in Europe and his legacy lives on in his music that survives him.